What's going on, everybody? CW Entertainment here, back today with another episode of MLB The Show 18. We're back here on the Chicago Cubs franchise, and before we go ahead and hop into the actual gameplay, did have a request to go ahead and just kind of show, what's, I guess, what's been going on around outside of the league, pretty much, and just kind of show some statistics and everything like that, some um, standings, and basically just your basic stuff that, you know, doesn't, doesn't involve the gameplay. So that's going to go on for a little while here at the beginning. As we go ahead and look at the team right now, you got Ian Happ as our leadoff man. And you guys can see Chris Bryant and Kyle Schwarber both on fire. Anthony Rizzo is on a cold spell, so we're going to leave him at that third spot for maybe a couple more games. And then if he can't pick it up, then we're going to drop him back down. You guys can see over here to our right, we got on um, our bench, Zobris, Caratini, Amor Jr. I know Peter Borges is sitting on the team anymore. Because I don't know, I, I believe somebody said he's somewhere else in real life, so I really don't remember uh, exactly what they said he were, or what exactly they said where he was at, but anyway, it doesn't matter, he's, he's, he's there, so we're just going to leave him. Uh, we do get a look at our standings here, the Cubs, we're 10-2 and two on the year, we're looking good, we got a three-game lead over the Reds, Cardinals, Pirates, and Brewers, off to a slow start. Uh, we move over to the NL West. We got the Rockies taking it away right now. Uh, they're 9-4 in the year with a game and a half lead over both the Giants and Diamondbacks. Look like the Dodgers are kind of on that little World Series slump. Looks like everybody's still not, I guess, fully recovered yet. But I guess we have to see how that works out for them later on in the year. But the interesting part was the National League East. The Philadelphia Phillies are 12-0. and I don't know how this is going on. I don't know what they've done, but... They got a five-game lead over the Nationals, and this is pretty surprising how good they are doing to start off. Over to the American League now, we got the Los Angeles Angels. They're sitting at 9-4 with a half-game lead over their rival Rangers, and this is a pretty close one. Everybody's over 500. Astros are in last. Astros are on a four-game win streak, so, you know, they're trying to pick it back up. Um, another thing, they won the World Series, so it might be a little, it might be you know goes to show that the world series slump is but well, the world series hangover actually is actually uh affecting both the astros and the dodgers to start off the season the white Sox lead the american league shout out to my white Sox. they're six and six fortunately they're not doing that well in real life um the indians are right behind them and then we go ahead and move over to the american league east <laughs> um, not los angeles but the new york yankees they wanted to go on 11 to one to start off this season they're on a great pace for them and possibly the Phillies, apparently, for a possible chance in the World Series. As we move along, we're in the uh, statistical categories. Brandon Belt leads the league with a batting average of 432. And, I mean, that, that's pretty dang amazing how well he's batting to start off. We got we do got Schwarber up here in the top 10 and Chris Bryant. They're both there. Um, as we move on, Paul Goldschmidt leads the league in hits at 22. Chris Bryant is up there as well with 20. Now we got some guys here in these top categories that you know you want to see as we move on uh, at bats. It really doesn't matter. Um, doubles. Trevor Story leads it with five. Uh, Chris Bryan's also in this top. He's got five as well. Contreras has four. So you know we got some. We got a couple players here and there that are in this top half, and that's part of the reason why we're having a lot of success. Chris Bryan does have one double. Lorenzo Cain leads the lead with three. In the National League, Kyle Schwarber with the big bat, leading the league with six home runs. You see Kyle Schwarber and a lot of, looks like there was a couple of Reds players in there too, near the bottom of that. But um, home runs, like I said, Schwarber, six. Keep it going, man. Um, peaked at the National or the American League real quick. They're doing, they're doing things as well. RBI lead is Jake Lamb with 14. Schwarber at 13, coming in at number two. Uh, slugging percentage, Schwarber leads the league as well with a 9-4-7. I mean, Schwarber has the hot bat. He's been hitting home runs. We also got Chris Bryant down there, too. But he was five or six. Schwarber comes in at two with OPS with a 1.338. Chris Bryant down there at eight with a 1.115. So, guys, keep it up. Most wins on the year right now is Luis. I guess it's Luis Garcia and Kyle Hendry. They both got three. Keep it on the road, Kyle. Man, you're doing big things right now. Let's see if we can keep it going. Losses, we got a bunch of guys with no losses. Saves, looks like Brandon Morrow got five saves. He's up there in the top two. So, Mar, man, dang. As long as you can stop giving up home runs, I think we'll be just fine. Right now, I do kind of have you on a little bench because you've been getting up a little bit too many home runs. 
Cal Hendricks leads the league with ERA. He has a 0.4. That's a great ERA. Quintana right behind him with a 0.64. It's part of the reason why we're having a lot of success. Kyle Hendricks, 28 strikeouts on the season, leads the league. And we also have Jose Quintana down there at the very bottom with 20 strikeouts. He's yet to have his third start yet. So I imagine Quintana will probably bump his stats up. Some, well, yeah, yeah, bump his stats up to probably near, if not past, Hendricks. John Lester leads the league with his whip. That's a .6. I mean, John Lester, hey, to be honest, <laughs> that's pretty dang impressive. I would have thought you would have had a lot more. Your whip would have been a lot higher than this. But look at this. We got four of our five starting pitchers in this top ten. We got Quintana at nine, Hendricks at four, and then we got Darvish at three. Darvish is going in today's video. So that'll be a, a hopefully a win for us in that one. Pitching war, Kyle Hendricks, 1.2, leading the league with Max Scherzer right behind him. We do got Quintana at a 0 0.8. But, uh, he's sitting at there at four. And Drew Smiley coming in at number eight. 0.6 so pigeon staff has definitely been there for us and you know hopefully we just keep on keeping it on man brandon belt leads it for the batting wise 1.4 schwarber there with a 1.0 as well so i mean yeah i mean like i said there's a reason we're winning as we take a look at the statistical categories i'm not really going to go too in depth on this i'm just going to show the screen so you guys take a look um schwarber does have the best batting average for us and chris Bryant's right behind him with a 3.70 Go ahead and move on over to the um, to the pitchers. And Kyle Hendricks, you know, he's leading that way, man. 28 strikeouts, Quintana right behind him. John Lester with only 18 and Darvish with 14. So, you know, some of these guys are more strikeout guys. I believe Darvish is more of a strikeout pitcher, though. So, we'll see what he does today. Ken Hendricks has had more starts than Darvish and Quintana. So, it makes sense why his is a little higher. But uh, the whip, you guys, man, look at everybody. Almost everybody is under a 1 except for Drew Smiley. And Drew Smiley is only 1.17. I believe Drew Smiley is the only one with a Okay, yeah, we got Mike Montgomery is also a guy that has over one whip. So, hey, we'll gladly take it. I mean, the pitcher staff has been pretty solid for the most part. Besides a couple home runs here and there. But, you know, you're going to have to live with those. You're going to give up the long ball. Now, we're going to go ahead and view the trade block. Nolan Arenado. I don't know why he's on this list. I don't know why the Rockies wouldn't want to bring him back. Yeah, that's kind of it was pretty surprising to see him on here. You also see Manny Machado down there. Could be a play for either one of the Chicago teams to wind up going forward. We don't know what the Orioles are going to do with Manny Machado. I expect them to wind up trading him before the deadline just so they get something back for him. I just, you just never know with the Orioles organization. See, DJ LeMahieu, Billy Hamilton, it's one of my favorite outfielders. Jonathan Lucroy is over there. And Andrew, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but he's a 23-year-old, and they have him on the trade block. Surprise the Red Sox will have somebody, you know, that young and that pretty good to be on the trade block. Kind of caught me off guard a little bit. There was a couple of them that, you know, I was like, whoa, this guy's actually on the trade block. But, yeah, quick, uh, we're going to look at the All-Star voting. Kyle Hendricks is blowing it away for the starting pitcher in the All-Star game with 148 votes. And he's only had three stars. I mean, he is absolutely dominating it right now to get off. Uh, looks like Wilson Contreras is also pulling away there at catcher. Hopefully he keeps it up. And then the Rizzo, I'm surprised you're even this high. Cubs fans are coming in loyal. <laughs> he's barely in that top 10. Daniel Murphy leads it for uh, second base. Baez is darn near at the bottom. Chris Bryant, he's got a rough one. He's going to have to pull some games together right now. Nona Arenado, and he's out here pulling away. Corey Seager over there, shortstop, no surprise. Addison Russell, I don't even think he's a, Yeah, you can't even see him on this part of the list. So I guess Addison is just not getting any fan favorites. Of course, he is a great player. I mean, look at that. Already 105 vote. And look at Kyle Schwarber leading left field. I mean, when you're leading the league in home runs, kind of expect it. Center fielder, Charlie Blackman. Yeah, Ian Happ is on that list. And you guys already know right fielder. We're not seeing Jason Hayward. <laughs> We're not going to see him. But uh, here we go. We got the early MVP looks. And Brandon Belt is leading the way. And I was surprised Schwarber didn't even get mentioned on this. But let's go ahead and hop into the game, everybody. Now from the windy city of Chicago, baseball from beautiful Wrigley Field. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Chicago Cubs. The Cubbies are looking to collect their eighth win in a row. Next. All right, you guys, let's get into it. As I mentioned earlier, you Darvish is on the mound. This is his third start of the year. 
And he's had one win and another decision. So hopefully you Darvish can come out here and give us another strong outing. 0-2 count here. He's getting a cut fastball well out the zone. Josh Harrison goes down in that strikeout number one. Good stuff. That way to start it off strong, you Darvish. 1-2 count with that one out. And a breaking curveball gets another strikeout. And that's number two on the day. You Darvish off to a strong start. Let's see if he can keep it going. 1-2 count. Sterling Marte is up to bat. That curveball gets him another strikeout. That's number three already. Three three strikeouts to retire the side. That's a, hey, that's a great way to start off this one. All right, we got Trevor Williams taking the bump. He's one for one on the year, so he's been a factor in their wins and losses so far in this uh, in his start of the season. Up to bat now, Ian Happ sends this one right back up the middle where it came from, and that is a, a leadoff single. And we will gladly take it on a 2-2 count. Keep it up, Ian Hat, man. We need you to keep getting better throughout the year. 1-0 count. Chris Bryant up to bat. And Bryant grounds this one over to the shortstop for a 6-4-3 double play. Come on, Chris Bryant. We don't need that to start off a game. Uh, we're going to have to figure out something else. As Anthony Rizzo comes up to bat. 2-1 count. Rizzo, we would love for you to get something going here. As that ball is lined up there to right field. And that ball does drop. Probably the center fielder didn't make one of those spectacular diving catches, but... We'll gladly take it. No complaints here. Wilson Contreras up to bat here. A grounder to the shortstop. They flip it over for a force out. And that is a quick first inning for us. And we had I mean, that double play kind of ruined it for us. One, two count. Darvish back on the mound. And he gets strikeout number four. Darvish, man, he has it working today. I think we see some pretty good things coming out of this start. After four straight strikeouts, he's going to finally get somebody to put the ball in play. And this is a pop-out over there to Ben Zobis, who's filling in for Baez. Baez, they gave us a message, like, during the lineup screen. He's struggling against right-handers, so we're going to hopefully just play Zobis as we get our fifth strike out of the ball game, as that ends the second. Darvish, keep it up. But, yeah, we're going to put Zobis in for now. Uh, just, we'll just see how that works out. If Zobis can get some things going, if not, we'll put Baez back. 2-0 count, Kyle Schwarber up to bat here, looking to get something going here. Schwarber sends it high and deep out there to right field, and it is getting pushed back in. Oh, man, if the wind's blowing out, that's an easy solo home run. But Schwarber, unfortunately, the wind is blowing back in at 13 miles per hour, and that's going to wind up being a flyout. 2-2 count, Addison Russell sends it out there to right center field. That ball is getting all the way to the gap. That ball might even get all the way. It's going to get up to the warning track. Thought it might get to the wall. But we will get a one-out double. Addison Russell, that way to start us off. Fortunately, we couldn't get nothing going with it. And a grounder back up the middle. And that's going to be the first base hit for the Pittsburgh Pirates here. And they got a man on. This is the bottom of the order. I believe that's a, yeah, that's a seven. Oh, we got. 2-2 two -two count. We'll love a double play ball. We'll gladly take a strike out. And we leave that curveball hanging. And this is a no-doubt home run to left field, and the Pirates are on the board first. Cervelli takes us deep for a two-run blast, and we were having such a good start with you, Darvish, and we hung a freaking curveball. And it comes back to bite us, man. Sometimes you just make that wrong pitch, and the, and the guy's just sitting on it, and he winds up crushing it. Even though that's 13 miles per hour win, I'm surprised he was able to get that out of here. 0-2 count here, and that's the way to bounce back. Strikeout number six. Keep it up, Darvish. Our bats got to come alive eventually. 2-2 two -two count, Josh Harrison, and that is another strikeout. That a way to stick with it, Darvish, man. There you go, dog. There you go. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. And Darvish has seven strikeouts through three innings. He is absolutely dealing. This ball's lined out there into left field, coming on the short, and short was just absolutely just stopped. I don't know why. It almost ended up being an error. But luckily, he winds up hanging on. 1-2 count. Ben Zobers sends this one to center field. That ball is going to drop in front of the center fielder. And Zobers has us a lead off single. Good stuff, Zobers. Man, that way to come through. 3-1 count. Ian Happ up to bat. Ian Happ gets one right down the middle. Sent that there to right field. And it is going to wind up getting down. We're going to wind up sending our guy. Zobers didn't know if it was going to get down or not. That should have easily been able to score Zobers. But we do got two men in scoring position now. Let's see if we can get something going as we got one of our better at-bats coming up. Chris Bryant up to bat. He gets a pitch down the middle, and once again, he's grounding out. But unfortunately, the shortstop has an error over there, and we are going to get us a score. And we are on the board 2-1. We're glad. Frazier, appreciate it. One count, one out. 
Rizzo wound up getting out. Contreras sends this one out there to center field. That's going to be enough for us to tie this one up. As we get the sacrifice fly, it is now 2-2 game. Bats do come alive. Thank you, Ben Zoberson. Thank you, Ian Hatton. Thank you, shortstop Frazier. <laughs> Wind up with the error. Marte up to bat 0-2 count and sends this one out there to Schwarber. He is on base. And, hey, they, they might be in business once again. Hopefully not. Come on, Darvish. We need you to get it to go. Oh, I need you to get it together. Grounder, six. He's going to wind up tagging the base himself, and we're going to flip the double play for a 6-3 double play. Good stuff, Addison Russell. Good stuff, Darvish. That's a way to get out of this one. Let's see if our bats can try to do something. Full count here after Darvish wound up getting out, and Jason Hayward sends this one high out there to center field, but unfortunately it's not going anywhere. Is this a routine fly out? Ah, Jason Hayward. I don't think we've gotten hit with you in a long time. I think it's been a good few games. 0-2 count. Up to bat is Polanco. Polanco was going down. That, that curveball is working magic today. Keep it going, Darvish. 0-1 count. One out. And Frazier. Oh, he makes up for the error and sends this one deep out there to left field. He's got him. Oh, no. That was. Oh, that's David Freeze. My bad. Never mind. That was not Frazier. Excuse me on that air, but dang, Darvish gets up his second of the game. Darvish has been hit really only a couple times in this one, and they both gone for long balls. I mean, he's probably giving up about four hits or so, but two of them going deep, that is just not good. Yep, a 3-2 lead now. 0-1 count, and oh, Ian Hap's going to wind up getting hit on this one. We're gladly taking no complaints here. Really, we tried checking up our swing, and he wound up getting hit. I guess the umpire caught it. That ball went to fly. I don't know where it would have hit half to where the ball would have flew off like that. 0-1 count. One out. Let's see what Chris Bryant can do with half over there first. And, oh, my goodness. That should have been a two-run home run right there. And Chris Bryant knows it. Got out there early on it. You see 105 miles per hour off the bat. Oh, man. It should be 4-3 right now. And he got him one right there again. And he's, oh, Chris Bryant just pops it up. Yep. Ian Hap's going to have to stay over there on first base a little bit longer. Maybe Anthony Rizzo can do something as he has a 2-0 count. Here were two outs in the inning, and Rizzo's grounding out over there to the second baseman. That's easy right there for, for the put out. And here's will see where we're going. 1-2 count. The leadoff man was able to get a base hit, and they are getting another base hit. This ball's going to hit off the wall over there. Schwarber's getting the throw back in to the cutoff man, and they got men in scoring position with nobody out. Oh, boy, Darvish, you're in trouble, man. We got to figure out something. It's Frazier. Okay, there goes Frazier this time. 1-0 count, grounder. And, man, these two tours got to get out of here. Bryant fires it to the home plate, and we're going to wind up getting them. They're not getting any runs. And the man in second had to stay in second because he didn't know what was going on. They figured, I guess they figured we would have went to third. Oh, they figured we would have went to first. But that's a risky play right there by the Pirates, and it did not work. Josh Harrison, see you later. 0-2 count, looking for another punch out. Darvish. Grounder, six, four to Zobris, three to Rizzo, and we're out of this one without giving up any runs. Let's get it. Great start right there, Darvish, to get out of that, and good job by Addison Russell to flip it. And here we go. Wilson Contreras leading it off. He sends it out there high to left field. That ball's going back as the left fielder, and it is getting died down. How many games, I mean, not how many games, but how many balls are we going to have go out there that just die? But computer's getting those balls to go. That Schwarber winds up fouling that one off. Schwarber just missed that one. I mean, man, a sinker. Oh, man. 1-1 one, one count, one out. Let's see what Schwarber can do here as he gets another one, lines it out there to right field, and it's going to be right out the right field because they got that shift on. Oh, man, Schwarber. We almost had one, man. Addison Russell rips this one out there to left field, and he's going to wind up sliding well before the ball even gets there. Come on, man. Come on. That was not even necessary. Here we go. Bottom, oh, top of the seventh here. Darvish still on the mound. That ball sent right out there to Jason Hayward. He only has to take a couple steps, and that is going to wind up being the first out. Jason Hayward with plenty of time to get that one. Oh, man. Darvish. Man, there's a couple home runs, man. That's just eating us right now as he gets another strike. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Darvish. Hey, man, I ain't got no complaints with you striking out these bums because you have been dealing. 0-2 count. Darvish looking to get freeze, and freeze goes down. Strikeout number 11. Darvish, that a way to finish it off. 11 Ks for number 11. Kyle Schwab up to bat one out. Sends this one over there to the second baseman, and that's easily going to get – oh, wait. Excuse me, that was Victor Caratini. I don't know why I called him Kyle Schwarber. Victor Caratini has not had a great start to his Cup debut. He's had a double, uh, double play in the ground out. 
O2 count for Zobra. Zobra is running up, grounding out. And that's going to end our uh, bottom half of the seventh. We're running out of time. Grounder, shortstop. Russell fires it over, and he just gets him in time. Man, Russell, you kind of took too many pumps into the glove, man. I don't know what you were doing over there. O2 count as we do got Brian Dunson getting the strikeout with the sweeping curve. Caught him right on the corner. Darvish Day is done. He did get 11 strikeouts. He pitched a pretty good game, but, man, them couple home runs right now are just biting us. Top of the eighth is over as we wind up getting the ground out. Russell that time fires it over quickly. We got the top half of the, or we got the top part of the lineup coming. Let's see if they can get something going. O2 count. Ian Happ sends this one out there to left field. Ian Happ is having him a phenomenal day. Three for three on the day, and Ian Happ, man, hey, just keep it up. We got to get something going in the bottom of the eighth. Let's see if we can get it. Chris Bryant up to bat. 2-0 count. Sends this one back up the middle. And Chris Bryant has a base hit. Man on first and second now. And we're not even going to try to attempt to. Yeah, we would have got wound up throwing out tonight. We're just going to keep happy over there a second. Play it wisely. Play it wisely. Anthony Rizzo, we need you to come through for us. Rizzo winds up getting a base hit. And there you go, Rizzo. We're not going to test that either. Base is loaded with nobody on it. Oh, man. We might have should have tested it. Oh, man. All right, well, we got Mr. Reliable up, Mr. Consistency. Wilson Contreras, we know you can get it done. 0 one count, Contreras sends this one out there to left field. That ball is going to wind up getting into the glove of the left fielder, but we're sending Ian Happ all the way home. Happ is scoring with no problem, and we have a brand-new ball game in the bottom of the eighth. That's a way to come through. One out, Kyle Schwarber up to bat. Schwarber sends this one out there to right center field. Is it going to get down? No, it doesn't carry enough. And the center field is easily able to get that one. We're tagging up with Brian. Brian gets the third. And we got a man in scoring position. Addison Russell has done pretty well for us this season, but he reaches for one. And the pitch is easily able to get Russell out. And we are headed to the top of the ninth where we have a brand new game. And we got Tyler Chatwood in the game now. This ball is going to be lined out there to left field. And we're going to wind up getting this back into the cutoff, man. So the winning or the go-ahead run, I should say, is on first. Come on, Chatwood, we need you to go. Oh, no, they're going to try to bunt here. We're going to get it with Rizzo. Rizzo fires it over there to Russell. Russell back to Zobras, and we can't get the double play. But we do get the lead runner, and we got one out. Now if we can get a double play, we can get out of this. Chatwood, grounder, four, six, three, double play. And, oh, they're just going to get it. Zobras kind of took a little bit too long to get the ball out of his glove. And my bad, Tyler Chatwood is not even in the game. It is Brian Dunting still. I, for, for whatever reason, I was thinking Chatwood was still was pitching for whatever reason. I kind of have a similar look to him. But 0-2 count is a fly out to Ian Happ, and that is going to get us out of the ninth. Let's see if we can wind up winning this one, man. We really need to go ahead and try to win this here in the ninth. Nobody wants to go to extra innings. Here we go. That ball's lined up there in the center field. Albert Amore Jr., who was coming off the bench to bat for, um, to bat for Dunson, and gets him a single. There we go. One out. Let's see if Ben Zobers can come through for us. Zobers grounder. One. Oh, my goodness. That's not a one. That's a 3-6-3 three, three double play. Oh, we did not need that one. We're headed to extra ends where we did not want to be. Tyler Chatwood. I don't even know where I was thinking with Tyler Chatwood. I guess because I know what's going on in the video. But we're getting a strikeout right there. Tyler Chatwood is not even left-handed. My goodness. 2-2 two, two count. Chatwood gets David Freeze striking out on a, on a changeup. That's back-to-back -back Ks. Let's get it. All right, chat. Well, we need you to come through here. Grounder back up the middle. Russell coming in. Spin throw. Russell, he's got him. We're headed to the bottom of the 10th. Let's see what we can do, everybody. Let's see what we can do. Batting from his left side right now. Ian Happ, that's probably what he bats best. He pops it up. Third baseman over there. That ball going foul, and it is going to wind up staying foul, too. Oh, my goodness. The wind was working for us that time. 1-2 count now. Ian Hatt sends this one out there to right field. That ball's going to wind up dropping. It's getting all the way into that corner. Ian Hatt rounds first. He's going to second. Ian Hatt is rounding second. He's going to third as the ball's just now getting to the cutoff, man. And we have a lead off triple to start off the bottom of the 10th. And that's his first triple of the season. The way he exploded out of the box. You knew he was determined to get the third, and he made it happen. And now we got our former MVP up to back, Chris Bryant. And he delivered. We just need a sacrifice fly, Chris. And Chris sends this one back up the middle. And that's a walk-off win in the bottom of the tenth. We needed just one extra frame to get it done. Ian Hemp's triple comes up huge. And Chris Bryant comes through for us with the base hit up the middle. And 
and we are winners here in this one. You guys, I want to say thank you all very much for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys hit the like button, leave a comment, hit subscribe, and stay up to date with the videos. I'll be posting other series and more. I'm out to next time, everybody. I know this was a long one. The Cubs closes out.